So this is just a video response to talk about my opinion of the first half of the Battlestar Galactica pilot. So, um, hey to Phil. Hi, Philip the Franco Nation people who are following along with this as well. Alright, so, um, I don't even know what to say. I really post videos on YouTube all that much, but I was watching the end of the, um, 30 day movie thing and I was like dang it I missed it and so this came up I've been doing nothing but studying for my final exams the last few weeks basically so I was like hey why not why don't I watch a video thanks for, for recommending Battlestar Galactica I've heard a lot about it uh, I've never really watched any episodes before but I actually that's not true I've seen a couple of the episodes parts of them at other people's houses while they're watching it they tell me I should watch it, I don't watch it. I really like sci-fi kind of things, although I've never really gone into a sci-fi TV show. The first half was the length of a movie. I wasn't expecting that. Also, I live in Canada, where apparently this Netflix deal doesn't work, so it took me a while to try and find an online place where I could actually get the whole video. Uh, first, the first scene comes up and it's talking about the Cylons, and in my head, the first thing I'm like, like, this is like Star Wars scenes with the like, words coming up mixed with some sort of Matrix robot revolution type thing. Obviously, the Cylons know how to screw with people because they send some really attractive female-looking robot to go make out with the ambassador and then blow up his ship. Um, yeah. Also, she kills a baby for no reason. If you're gonna blow up the whole planet anyways, I didn't really see the point in her snapping the baby's neck before she walked away so that this poor mother could have a heart attack in the middle of the road right before their whole planet ends. So basically what I learned from this is don't mess with this Cylon chick. And Stupid telemarketers. Honestly. That's how you deal with a telemarketer. The beginning is pretty epic. The end, Star Fox style, with fighting ships, shooting everywhere, epic battles. Yeah, that was really awesome. The middle is kind of slow. I kind of understand. It's an intro. They're doing the whole character background thing. Um, the acting was pretty good. Uh, I actually really liked most of the characters. Um, the one lieutenant, whatever, gets punched in the face. His character seemed a little blah to me. Um, the chick who punches him in the face is pretty jokes. Uh, obviously you have to have the one uh, egomaniac centered fighter pilot. You got the old dude about to retire, now called into one last final battle. You got the whole shifting of the political power to this one woman who's now forced to rise up and take her stand as the head of the 12 colonies. Um, the spunky chick who's trying to prove herself. Um, yeah, basically just all the pieces that you needed for a, uh, a good television, drama, space, series. Um, I don't know what else to say. Battlestar Galactica. Seems like a good series. Whole Star Wars mixed with the Matrix kind of vibe going on, so that can only end well. Um, characters seem cool. The, uh, the acting is really good. I'll probably end up watching all of it now, even if that's not what's going to happen on uh, the vlog stuff. Uh, I'm sure some point through this summer I will finish every single episode because I've done that with Smallville. I've done that with so many other seasons. I just pick one episode and see what it's like and then in the next few days end up watching half the season. Fortunately, I'm in exams right now, so that won't happen. So thank you for recommending it. Thank you for giving me something besides studying to do yesterday. Um, anyways, best to you. Hope everything is awesome. And um, see you on your next vlog. Um, what was I saying? Um, um, dang it. Uh, anyways.